A big surprise for the Fletcher Free Library in Burlington when someone returned a book more than 50 years overdue. Kat Villianzoni takes a look at that case and the challenges that libraries face in making sure that the materials they lend out actually come back. Many of us are guilty of returning a book or a movie to the library a little late. But what about more than 50 years late? Oh, it's exciting. <laughs> it's exciting to see something that's um, been out for a long time. That was the case with this book, Ibsen the Master Builder, which was checked out in 1961 and didn't come back through the doors of the Fletcher Free Library in Burlington until last month. At the current rate, 25 cents a day for this book, overdue charges would total more than $1,800. But in reality, the actual fine is far, far less. At the maximum, we charge is $5 for an item as long as they return the item in a reasonable amount of time. Returns like that are rare, but Fletcher Free Librarians have dual challenges, keeping the library accessible while also holding the public accountable for the materials they check out. I think the average price of, of nonfiction books right now is somewhere in the $30 range a piece. So it's an expensive proposition to, to even replace 10 missing books. The Fletcher Free Library has more than 147,000 items in their collection, and they say at any given time, 20 to 25,000 of those are out in the community. And while most patrons return them, they say that sometimes getting them back can be a challenge. We've looked at a number of things for the city attorney's office, and for the most part, you know, it pretty much is the honor system. Resnick says when it comes down to it, the library often has little recourse to go after those who do not bring back the items they take out. Fortunately, the staff say most people aren't in the business of trying to steal from the library, and most overdue books are out of forgetfulness. And there are people who come in and they're really incredibly apologetic. But they say even a late return, even one 50 years late, is still better than never. Uh, patrons get pretty excited when they come in and a book they've been wanting to read is here and, and or has been missing and it turns up. The best thing they can do for us anyway is to bring them back. And when it, if, it, if it's a financial issue, we're always willing to negotiate. Fletcher Free saw about 263,000 visits last year, translating into more than 408,000 items checked out. Healthy numbers, they say, for the library. Kat Villianzoni, Channel 3 News, Burlington. Another unlikely return story. There was a case last year where a Delta pilot found one of their books in the sleeve of a plane seat and then returned it. Good Samaritans. Yeah, yeah bringing the books back. Bring it back. Sounds like no one's in trouble, at least. That's, That's right. That. Absolutely.